want more magazines. So we're going to do some private world running about and find some of the locations of magazines in Appalachia. I'm not going to stream for too long, probably about an hour, maybe two, so <clears throat> just a heads up there, because an hour goes by really fast when playing this game. And I do not recall. Oh. Okay. And there it is. All right. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me, good lord. There we go. Switched to the live chat. So if you do message me, I will be able to respond. <coughs> wow. Sorry about that. Wow, two viewers already. Come on, crouch. Yeah, I need to get out of here. Lost. God. Yep. <clears throat> Peeves, hello. How you doing, man? Glad to hear it. It's probably getting close to your bedtime. Alright, I just wanted to jump over here so I didn't have to deal with... <clears throat> I am doing well, sir. Doing very well. And I'm on the hunt for magazines. Yeah. What, do you have school tomorrow? And by school, I mean college. See, milk is a very tasty drink. Absolutely. I have to get lactose-free milk, but I do enjoy drinking it. <laughs> ah, no school tomorrow. Nice. All right, I need to <clears throat> check. Uh, okay. We are going to make a shift. <clears throat> Excuse me. We are going to go to... There's the portside pub. All right, we're going to go to Mama Dolce's. Wait, let's make sure my cards are where they need to be. 
scrapper. No, it is not. Let's get... Get rid of that, get rid of that. I'm gonna ditch long shot so I can have concentrated f uh, concentrated fire and I want to be able to track and hunt magazines. Ooh, easy. Morgantown. Now there's a couple in the underground area of Mama Dolce's, so we're gonna take a look there and see what's what. <clears throat> There's a, supposed to be two that are in the underground secret bunker at Mama Dolce's. So we're going to take a look there. Alex is very happy <clears throat> that we have pizza. I got some Domino's pizza for lunch. Yep, that's Alex. <laughs> that was his happy sound. Antiseptic. Yeah, I'll take that. Uh, yeah, I don't want that. Yeah, you can always tell his happy sound. A boy and his pizza, a love story. Pony! <clears throat> Long time no see! And 
Uh, is the opening player. here? There it is. Uh. All right. <laughs> yeah, there's a robot on top of me. All right. Let's do some magazine hunting. to get out of my power armor. What's the word, pony? <laughs> okay. For now, we're going to use plasma. Really? I was kind of hoping that... Nope. Nothing. All right. Excellent. Relaxation is good. Pack of smokes. Stairs and see if we can find some magazines. Come on, you know you wanna. Oh, ho, ho.
All right. Have a good night, peeves. Hard to see through that gun. All right. Nothing there. Okay, so that's the way we came. That's where we just were. Alright, we're gonna go down. Plenty of flasks. There we go. Just take all your crap. Where's the iBot? Take your fusion core.
You're okay, kid. Well, come on. Come up on my lap. Come on. Furlock. Come on. Furlock. Come on. Hop up. Hop up. There you go. Hey, Alex, you can have one pizza, okay? Pick one. There you go, buddy. Thank you. pack. Heck yeah. Alright, there's something in here of that I am sure. Uh, get, get rid of that noisy thing. Oh, hey. propaganda crap. Uh, sure. Yes. Yes. Oops. Oh, actually, I did want that. Alright. What's the word, Thunderbird? Tweet, tweet. <laughs> tweet, tweet. What, are you all finish? What's up? Is the cat bothering you? Oh my gosh. Hang on, monkey. Hang on. Furlock, come on. There you go, bud. Enjoy your pizza in silence, buddy. <laughs> Furlock absolutely loves Alex. And unfortunately, Alex is nervous about animals, so... Hoping that someday we can get him past that. But it is a work in progress. Wait, I don't have the ID card for this. Mm. That is a bummer. Good to see you, man. All right, well, 
there is another bot crawling around here somewhere. Peace and quiet. We shall not be bothered by robots. I just need to find. Yeah, I scoured that. And I didn't check this side. Okay, I need to find... I think it's on this side. Yes! Kitchen, what do we got here? Boiled water, uh, cranberry moonshine, hell you. I do not need glasses. A lot of plans down here, holy cow. Did I? Did I get everything down here? Except for the one area I don't have the card to access for some reason? Do I have the card for this one? No. Huh! Uh, Raider. Yeah, I don't care. Furlock, you're fine, honey. Oh my gosh. Everything is awful. Yeah, I guess we did. Well, somewhere there is another barrack. So we found the one for the scientists. Yeah, here's the one for the scientists. All right. The one for the soldiers must be... Huh. Where does this bring us out at? Okay. Yeah, we're definitely there. Alright. Where's the other barrack? in there. Yeah, here's the showers. the thing I was looking at made it sound like there were was a soldier's barracks and those are quite obviously scientists and once I go back up here we are yeah we're right back here 
All right, I must conclude that there is no magazine in here, or there should be two magazines in here, but there are precisely zero, which kind of sucks. All right, well, I'm not going to waste the cap on that. Let's turn the light off. We'll head over to the port side pub. There, are you comfortable for a lock? Good. That cat. Yeah, we recently got Alex over his fear of needles, and now we just have to try to get him past his fear of animals. <sighs> Excuse me. Identified intruder detected. Beginning search. When... Uh, when Alex was with his mother, we both believed that the dog that they had at the time, Loki... A sweet dog, but a very excitable dog, and we think that he jumped up on Alex and scratched him, which is what gave oh, him back to the usual daily tedium. So what gave him the fear? So But the bigger the animal, the bigger the fear. So, like, we were... We were at an event... Oh, good. We were at a balloon festival. A hot air balloon festival, sorry. And there were horses. Oh, well, there were ponies, just to be more specific. And... I was like, oh, they're small horses. Maybe he'll be okay with that. <laughs> he was looking at the ground, and he looked up, and he saw the ponies, and he's like, nope. <laughs> and he walked back very quickly. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I don't... And, and I think the other thing, too, is that they're unpredictable. I think with with Alex's autism unpredictability brings anxiety and I think that, you know, animals doing whatever animals do and those don't seem very clear to him and that makes him anxious and I think that contributes to it as well. So And, you know, we're not going to force him to pet horses or whatever. Because um, that's not right. That's akin to torture, and I'm not going to torture my boy. But we just need to try to find an inn, you know, an inroad to maybe an animal or something that he's not as nervous about. And... Uh, try to work it from that angle. Because that's how we kind of did it with his fear of needles. Take that for the crew. 
charisma boost. Intruder, identify yourself. Oh. Hey, buddy. All right, time to hit the port side pub. Okay, I hit that first. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, it, it, we we have a couple of cats here, and he's relatively okay with the cat. But the cat is still a little unpredictable. And Alex is very... Or, I'm sorry. Furlock is the more friendly of the two cats. And he really likes to get up in your stuff. And Furlock loves attention and loves to get pets. And... Alex isn't always on board and he'll do it in his own time in his own way when he's comfortable he'll pet the cat um, but for luck can be very insistent and that that does not sit well with Alex so uh, happy hour menu Look at those prices. Yeah, the inflation was off the charts. All right, somewhere in here there should be a magazine. No, I didn't want the moldy food. Blah. Ooh, industrial solvents. And the, the feel of fur to him is very off-putting. So when he pets the cat, he'll pet the cat with the back of his hand because it's not as sensitive. And he's okay with that. So...
Yeah, he's... Furlock has... hopped on... Al like, when he's lying down... I, Furlock is a cuddler. And, unfortunately... On the upper balcony. Okay. Is it? Oh. Yeah, there's supposed to be a magazine there. Crap. Yeah, by the exit door. Yeah, that's where it was. Well, striking out on magazines here. Oops. Oh, no. Really? Can I? Oh, thank God. All right, well. Well. Huh. All right, we're going to go to Morgantown High School. I'm missing a bunch, but I've got two racks full, and then plus a third rack. I've got one magazine on that. All right. So I'm missing a bunch. On to Morgantown High School. You know what? I'm going to go to Fraternity Row first and see if there's any Nuka Colas there. So head east. Don't get up. Yeah, I'm... Even if he doesn't get used to petting the cat with the front of his hand, that's fine. It's, you know, whatever he's comfortable with. And, I'm, you know, again, I'm not going to force him to do things he's not uncomfortable with. Well, within reasons. The needle thing, 
that had to happen. He needed to get immunizations, and that's just... <sighs> and, you know, at some point in time, he could have an accident, need an IV, and uh, I can't have him fighting doctors and nurses if they're trying to, you know, save his life, so... But, you know, I don't try to unnecessarily, you know. There are things that are not potentially life-threatening or, you know, something that could save his life. Those are the things that we, we work on, and it pushes the wrong term, but encourage... Because the reason why he was afraid of needles is he had an overzealous doctor that he too has an autistic son and he wanted to do a bunch of tests and uh, so that was you know he, he drew seven vials of blood and that was like he was seven at the time, and it took five adults to hold him in place to get the blood. And by the time we were done, none of us wanted to be there anymore. We just felt awful. And unfortunately, the damage had been done. He was afraid of needles. So we've always had to find strategies, like if he's, you know... Uh, like having a, a a medical procedure where he needs to be knocked out, we would, you know, have immunizations done then or things like that. Um, but but now he has no problem, and that's in large part to working with nurses and. Uh, certified nursing assistants who were willing to listen to me tell him about Alex's fear and try to come up with ways to get him past it and and we succeeded which was the ultimate goal But you don't you don't logic your way past anxiety. That's for sure. But, you know, after we had a success with immunizations, he had to have a blood draw, he had to have a, a tuberculosis test. Um, because he was going to be well. He's working at a, uh, a a medical facility here in town for his second semester, kind of like a work study essentially. And you can't work in that facility unless you have your flu shot, and uh, you have to be tested for tuberculosis because you can't be around potentially. Uh, immunocompromised people and be carrying illness. So. But, yeah. He's doing a lot better with that. He was a champ. And that means when he has his wisdom teeth removed in, uh, I think it's like another month... Uh, he's going to have an easier time with the uh, the IV for the surgery. So, okay. 
Okay, skill one. I'll just turn that off for right now. Empty bottle. Boo. All right, what do we got going on in here? Definitely want these caps. Regular Nuka Cola, Nuka Cola Dark, Nuka Orange. Excellent. All right. So we did. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna go to junk. Oops. Okay, I have rad poker currently. <laughs> ah, what's the other game? Is it autopsy? God, I really need to get glasses again. <sighs> there we go. Catch the Kami. Okay. I'm going to drop that one. Okay. And now I'm going to do that. There. Okay. So let's go back to aid and deal with that. Do have soup. There we go. Okay. So that should deal with that. go to the high school oh I've got to put the card back in place for finding magazines the reason why I look for Nuka Colas is I've got a pristine Nuka Cola machine at my camp so I try to stock it with drinkables <sighs> oh excuse me all right now we head yeah now we head to the high school be taking your suit flowers. Is it suit or soot? Or does it even matter? Before we go inside, I do 
like to hop up on the roof. Sniping and clear the way. Oh, you taking off? All right. Have a good rest of your day. Ah, come on. I think I got the ghouls before they were able to bum rush. So. Taking that rat away. <sighs> okay. Anything good in here? <laughs> Useless pre war money. Well, I mean, you convert it to cloth and you can make outfits and armor and stuff with it, but. go <laughs> Oh, and I just said I had to switch my cards and I haven't done it yet. in place. Everything else looks good. Okay. Definitely grabbing some plastic pumpkins. And a real pumpkin. Hey, Mel. I'm not still playing from yesterday. No, I've only been playing for about an hour now. If you are willing and able to play, you are more than welcome to, Mel. Yeah, if you're ever farming for whiskey, this is the school is the place to go. 
Uh, oh, blast radius. I don't have that one. Oh. Are you having some cable or just internet issues? Inside us. That was our prom theme. Excellent. Yeah, like I was saying, if you are if you are able to join in, feel free. I'm in a private world right now, so Yeah, just let me know when you do. If you're unable to get in, I might have to turn something on. Um and I, I do that because of the incident of that one kid. Um, I got it locked down so people can't just hop in. But I still have you marked as a friend, so it should work. Uh... Actually, I think that you might be able to go to Private World, or, ah, uh, give me a second here. Okay, you're online. I think you should be able to join me, and if you join me, you should be able to If you can't do the private, do the public and then join me. And if you join me, then you should just pop over. And then we can team up and then we can we can talk. Get me some bug meat. Mmm, bug meat. Oh. How did I miss that? Not paying attention, that's how. Foods class here. Come on. Can't. There you are. How did they? Oh, they came through that way. <laughs> like, uh, did they just teleport through the wall? That's weird. No. There's an opening. Ah, pipe wrench. Ah, lead pipe. I didn't want to do that. Ah, well, whatever. Alright, let's get more of you scumbags to come in here. Hell yeah, I'm taking your cake pans. You don't know.
Oh, okay, hang on. I need to... Okay, okay, Mel, what I want you to do is go into the public world. So just start playing in adventure mode or whatever they call it. Because right now I'm seeing that you're on the main menu. Until you go into the game, you can't join me. So give that a whirl. Yeah, no worries. It's not a race. Loafers is all about low key gaming. As you well know, I'm not going to mansplain your own channel to you. Because <laughs> that's what a dickhead does. So, it's in there. 